Kelly Rowland is a singer, songwriter, and actress. She was born in Atlanta, Georgia, and rose to fame in the late 90s as a member of Destiny's Child, one of the world's best-selling girl groups of all time, selling 60 million records worldwide. Rowland's voice is classified as a three-octave lyric mozo soprano, and her main genres are hip-hop, soul, and contemporary R&B. Kelly Rowland is super talented and an icon in her own right but she's always been looked at as second best to her former bandmate, Beyonce. She's always been compared to Beyonce no matter the praise or milestone she attains in her solo career, and it seems like so many listeners have kind of given up on Kelly. Kelly Rowland joined Destiny's Child in the late 90s when they were initially called Girls Time, which is comprised of six members. She would also move in with Beyonce's family around that time. In 1993, Girls Time would compete in the talent show Star Search, but the girls unfortunately lost the competition to Skeleton Crew. This was very devastating for them, but that would be a small tale in the group's timeline, which I'm sure I don't really have to explain. They've sold millions and seen as one of the last real girl groups. Like these girl groups nowadays, they are just not together and I know some people might say, but Beyonce was itching to go solo and even if that's true, all the girls in DC wanted to do solo work, but they were still a group and they made a lot of sense together. Destiny's Child is remembered as a trio, but the original lineup consisted of four members after their name change from Girls Time. The lineup included Beyonce, Kelly, Latoya Luckett, and Latavia Robertson. Latoya and Latavia would file a lawsuit against manager Beyonce's father, Matthew Knowles, Kelly, and Beyonce for a breach of contract after they were replaced by Michelle Williams and Farah in the Say My Name music video, released in 2000. Say my name. <clears throat> Luckett and Robertson vocals still appeared on the song, despite their absence from the video. Farah and Michelle vocals were not included on the track. The cases against Kelly and Beyonce would get withdrawn while maintaining the suit against Matthew, which ended in both sides agreeing to stop trashing each other publicly. It's alleged Matthew fired Lativia and Latoya after they asked him for more money and accused him of withholding their share of the group's monetary profits. Destiny's Child would go on hiatus to focus on solo projects after the success of their third studio album, Survivor. In the summer of 2002, Kelly Rowland was featured on Nelly's track Dilemma, an R&B hip-hop ballad. The song samples Patti LaBelle's 1983 song, Love, Need, and Want You. The lyrics describe the dilemma of two partners wanting to start a new relationship with each other despite both being in an existing relationship. Dilemma was a global smash. It debuted 53 on the Billboard Hot 100, peaked at number 1, and reigned supreme for 10 non-consecutive weeks, earning Kelly her first number 1 on the chart, and she became the first member of Destiny's Child to score a number 1 single on the same chart as a solo act. Also, Dilemma brought home a Grammy for Best Rap Song Performance, and in the music video, Kelly texted Nelly using a Microsoft spreadsheet. I don't know about you, but Kelly was ahead of her time. That same year, Kelly would release her debut album, Simply Deep. Due to Kelly's solo success, Beyonce's solo album, Dangerous Thing in Love, was postponed many times until 2003. Simply Deep peaked at number 12 on the Billboard 200 album chart and sold 77,000 copies in its first week. It has been certified gold by the RIAA, shipping 600,000 units in the United States. And Simply Deep was a larger exporter internationally, selling 3 million units, making Simply Deep Kelly's most successful album commercially. Following the commercial success of her debut album, Kelly would release her sophomore project, Miss Kelly, in 2007. The album produced the top 30 hit like this. The single received a gold certification from the RIAA, but the album would have matched the commercial success of its predecessor, Simply Deep selling 222,000 copies in the United States. In 2009, Kelly would end her professional relationship with then-manager Matthew Knowles, and then two months after that, 
The singer would announce she has left Columbia Records, her home label since Destiny's Child, and describe her departure as leaving her comfort zone and exploring new sounds and freedoms. Columbia would affirm they did not dump her, but Kelly would confirm she was released from her contract after Miss Kelly didn't sell out. Kelly would score another global hit record on David Guetta's When Love Takes Over, which is a dance pop track. The single sold 5.5 million copies worldwide and gave new heights to both artists' careers, establishing Kelly as a power vocalist and would basically introduce David Guetta to a new American audience. When Love Takes Over received widespread acclaim by critics, named the number one pop dance collaboration of all time by Billboard and gave birth to the EDM error. Here I Am, Roland's third studio album was released on July 22, 2011 under Universal Motown and spawned six singles. The fourth single, Motivation, got a co-sign and feature from rapper Lil Wayne, a time when Lil Wayne was one of the most in-demand rappers. Motivation was the most successful single from Here I Am, selling 2 million copies in the US and peaked at number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100. Despite the success of Motivation, Here I Am received mixed reviews from critics, and as of January 2013, the album has sold 241,000 copies in the US. While Talk A Good Game, the latest studio effort from the artist, released under Republic, has sold 215,000 copies worldwide. The project produced two singles, Kisses Down Low and Dirty Laundry. Dirty Laundry was the most talked about single. On the track, Roland was very candid and talks about being envious of Beyonce's solo career and domestic violence she has suffered in a previous relationship. Dirty Laundry was praised by critics and the single peaked at number 47 on the US R&B Hip Hop Songs chart but failed to crack the US Hot 100. Now, there's no doubt Kelly makes good songs, but I feel like Kelly lacks confidence in herself as an artist, which in turn makes the audience loses interest over time, and labels not giving her the support she deserves. She's been in the game since the 90s working really hard, but working hard, especially in the music industry, does not guarantee you'll get that preferred payback. A lot of fans like to blame colorism as a factor as why she hasn't reached the level of success like Beyonce or even Rihanna, which I can't agree with to a certain extent, but I think Kelly has to take some of the blame. I feel like Kelly is playing in other artists' spaces and until she finds that lane in which she can really thrive and stand out, Kelly will always be seen as second best to Beyonce. Tell me what you think about Kelly's career in the comment section. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section as well. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for all the support. I really appreciate it. I am done and I will see you in the next one. Bye.